Hey everyone, um, all the times when making jeans, uh, people, friends asking me how do you make your jean? So I decided to make a quick video to show you how I'm uh, um, making my jean. Um, most important thing is to get 95% alcohol. Uh, you can get them online um, in there and, and try to get a good quality as you can. However, guys, please be careful. Do not dare drinking this alcohol uh, without diluting it. Once you get the alcohol, the next ingredient you need is, is some kind of um, botanicals. Uh, you can, again, get these things online. You can uh, uh, find them in different flavors and type, um, up to your Now, with times, um, um, I used to add um, all kind of different fruits in there. Um, um, this time, we decided we're going to go with pineapple and mint. So to start, first thing first, the alcohol, get them in there, uh, to get 95% to 43%, which is the level of alcohol in a gin, uh, you need to dilute one liter of alcohol with 1.2 liter of water. Ideally, you want to use, um, you know, distilled water if you want, if you can, um, get it as fresh as you can make it. So eventually you're gonna end up with um, around 1.2, um, sorry, 2.2 liter of gin. Let's get my water in there. While this is happening, uh, we can use this one maybe a bit later. So here we go, we got one, liter of water here guys please be careful when you're mixing this thing you need to make sure that you are not poisoning yourself so lose conscience here we go that's one liter and now let's get another 200 mil here even a bit more gonna be all right now um one thing to remember when you're using fresh fruits uh mixing with alcohol they tend to fermentize themselves and and obviously they creating a higher level of alcohol so we'll show later on um that after a while um around 24 hours you can take the um you can take the fruit out now, if you want to really invest and make sure, I've got this kit that actually helping me measure the amount of alcohol that we're putting. Um, it's a nice thing to have, definitely, if, if you are planning to give this thing to you. Your friend, really all what you need to do is take a little bit of the alcohol, not much, just let a little touch of it, of what you're making, you need to make sure that it's all covered nicely around and then you got this thing I'm sure I can't show it to you but there's actually like a nice graph in there that's showing you how we really the amount of alcohol it's in there and yeah we're looking at yeah pretty much 42 percent which is good for us because as I said we'll um, add some fruit into it and this fruit will eventually create um, a higher level of alcohol. That's done. Taking the botanicals. And we can just add to our flavor. More of the gingerberry will get you more of an alcohol flavor. Um, sorry, more of a gin flavor in there. Um, the mix usually is set to get you what you need, um, but if you want a bit more of a gin flavor in there, um, I bought another pack of just gingerberry. Again, buy them online, no problem. And I'm just adding a bit more of it into it. Kind of start in the middle there.
as you can see, everything is by measurement of uh, based on experience. So I don't really can give you any numbering. Just have a look, and of course, you decide for your own how much you want to use. Uh, more than happy if someone actually um, know how to make it to leave comments there and maybe help us um, get better. First thing first, completed, first stage. I think you just give it a good shake. And then making sure that everything is mixed properly. Done. Now. Ay, ay, ay. I can leave in this case, we don't need, and just as we just simply edit to it. Uh, this is the first time we tried it. I never tried mint and, and pineapple uh, in a mix, so really. I have no idea how it's gonna come, but um, I myself like mint, so I'm gonna put quite a lot of it in there. And the rest you can put for your tea if you want. Winter is coming. All right. We got them in there. Then, pineapple. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna use all the pineapple. Um, that would be a bit too much. I think I'm actually just going to use maybe just a quarter of it because it is a juicy fruit, obviously, and that's going to generate quite a lot of the green fruits in there. Beautiful. And just slices of it. Now, when, when choosing a bottle, obviously try to pick a bottle that have a um, big opening as you can. It will make it easier for you to then um, take everything out from there. Almost look like a fruit salad. Guys, preparation done. That's it. And again, give it a good mix. Now, it usually takes 48 hours before it's, it's become a gym. Usually what I'm doing, um, you know, I'm kind of a monitor it, open it once in a while, just give it a good smell, see if I can start smelling. Um, a gin in it. Um, 12 hours after we uh, preparing it, I'm taking the fruit out and just leave the rest of it in it and of course have a bit of a smell if needed. You can add a bit of uh, ginger berry. So um, I guess we see you again in 48 hours. <laughs>